and you gotta believe it. You better believe it, okay? Shout out to one billion noir, all right? One billion noir, all right? And I'm telling you, it's an older toilet, but this one calls out billion spirits, all right? Now, let me tell you something, okay? If you're trying to get money, you need to know what successful pro cologne successful people use. Bill Clinton, presidents, monarchs, kings use a lot of different colognes. I know from Saudi Arabia and a, and a lot of Arab money. But here, they also use creed. Okay? They also use creed. All right? Um, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not cheap, but you can get a bottle for, for 300 or 600 or a thousand dollars, depending on what you want. All right. I mean, I get, I got the wrong, some, I got some of the wrong bottles sometimes. So I got a little spray, but whatever. Okay. This is so expensive. You don't use a lot. Okay. Because I'm telling you, you don't use a lot. All right. Look. Okay. Remember what I say? What I say? What I say? You call money. Okay. You bring up money. You see? I bring it up. I bring it up, not down. Bring money up. Bring money up. We're going to call out money. We're going to bring money up. We're going to call out money. We're going to bring money up. Money. Money. Coming to me now in Jesus' name. All right. Don't kill the messenger. Shout out to Poly Spring. Poly Spring. Good natural water. The living life. Call at me for some advertising dollars. I'm letting you know right now. Okay. And that's what it's all about. And, you know, and, um, yeah, I mean, shit, shout out to La Pair. Penis Enlargement, Penis Growth, uh, extra, extra, super duper endurance. Get your confidence back, Mel. Man, I'm letting you right now. I shout out to, I shout out La Pair everywhere I go. If you want peace in your house, you want your women respecting you, you want to be the confidence, you want to be boasting, you want to stand strong, you want to increase your penis, you want to enlarge your penis, naturally, let it be known that you need some lap hair in your life. You need some peace, okay? I'm not, that's it. I'm not, I'm not saying too much more. And, and you know, and that's what we're here. We're here to talk about, look, listen, all right? I don't want to talk about bad luck first because I'm here to talk about the pursuit of success, Okay? The Pursuit of Success by Dr. D.K. Olukoya. So what is the pursuit of success? All right. In order for you to know how much you're worth, you need to know how do you get successful? How? 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 Okay. All right. Let me, let me, let me relax, y'all. All right. Because you guys don't understand. All right. I need to relax. All right. Okay. It's 4.55. I'm letting you know right now. I should be sleeping because I'm going to be up in a few minutes. But I, I care so much about this topic that I can do it. I want to do it when I'm all about it, okay? When I'm all, uh, okay? Okay, so that's what I'm talking about here. Yeah, and you guys need to know that, all right? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not here. I'm not here, guys, to make you feel any sort of way. I'm just here to help you in your journey of increasing your wealth finances, whatever your endeavors is in life, when it comes to money, okay, so, um, I'm not here to talk about stories, okay, I don't care about stories, I want to talk about concrete, all right, and everybody got a story to tell, okay, all right, uh, um, all right, so, so, the story of David, 1 Samuel 31 to 8. So, 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 what I wanted to tell you is, if you're going to pursue uh, success, you need to understand the number one pursuer of success, which was King David, before it was King David, all right? Uh, you, you may have been failing in an area where others are succeeding because you or yet to learn the secrets of success. Okay, after the after learning the secret of success, you have to put it in all your energy in eager pursuit of them, and you will discover that your story will change. You can be successful like any other successful man or woman. 
Get ready to pursue success. It will be yours in Jesus' name. All right, again, um, I'm not here to knock anybody, religion or anything. Everybody have a faith. Kudos to you. Okay? And, um, yeah, but, sorry, okay, guys, I'm tired. You could see, I'm tired, whatever. It's not about religion. All right, I'm tired. So, we are here to pursue success. I can't be tired. I shout out to Ida Gum. Shout out to Polo Ice by Wiggly. Extra long lasting uh, flavor. Refresher. Shout out. In terms of Wiggly, shout out. Um, so. To understand this, oh, this, this is going to be sweet. You need to read in the Bible, 1 Samuel 21 to 8. Okay. Uh, it says, And it came to pass, when David and his men were going to Zik Zikla, the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south, and Ziklag, and smitten and Ziklag, and burned it with fire. Burn it with fire. He had taken the women captives, okay, that were there in this slew, not any, either great or not small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire. And their wives and their son and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lift up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam, the Jezreelites, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed. For the people speak of sowing him because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged him himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abita the priest, Amilek, Amilek, son. I pray thee, bring me hither the Ephraim. And Abita brought hither the Ephraim to David. And David inquired the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered himself, answered him, Pursue for thy shall pull overtake them, and without fail, recover all. So, what does that say? You can't pursue greatness by yourself. I'm telling the number one secret. The Spirit of God got to be with you. Or whatever God you serve. My God is God, the Almighty Jesus. He has to be with you. Okay? I need you to understand that. The Spirit of God has to be with you. If you're going to take overtake anybody, you need the Spirit of God to be with you. Because if you don't, you're going to fail greatly. Okay? So, that's the one thing I want to tell you. Right? The Spirit of God got to be with you. Okay? And um, it just has to be. Okay? Um, so, David and his team were in great distress. They lost everything to the invasion of the enemies. And the, I mean, they were so distressed on the experience that the people wept until they had no more power to move anymore. Okay? No. Wives, children, relatives, friends, and property were lost. The first person who solved the problem did not change anything. You may weep in the day of distress, but 
on the prayer change situations. You may listen to men and in, in counselors in the day of trouble, but only divine direction received from God can turn situations around. Okay? You may react angrily in the day of calamities and threaten to fight anybody in the territory of the enemy, but you may be fighting like like you may be fighting like one beating the air. Hmm. Look, what am I telling you guys? What am I teaching you guys today? Okay. The pursuit of success has a lot to do with your calling. Okay. And you need the direction of God. You need the direction of spiritual. You need the di direction of prayer to help you on your journey. Okay? But David stood out, out, stood out of the crowd. He too had wept till he couldn't weep again. But he remembered God and made inquiries about how best to handle the situation. God approved his strategy to pursue, overtake, and recover all. Do you understand? Do you understand what this is all about? I think that's what it's all about. Okay. So, what does it mean to pursue? To pursue means to chase. It means to choose the gap between you and somebody. To pursue means to follow aggressively. It means to aim at something with you, fullness, consultation. To pursue means... To run after with a view to overtaking. You may you may you are pursuing somebody. Okay. When you are following hard or following hard to overtake him. When you apply the various meaning of pursuit to success, you will understand clearly that success is not stationary. You don't pursue a stationary object. You don't walk up to it and determine and predict and, pre and determine and predict predictable time. It is in constant motion. There are forces trying to keep it away from your reach. For this reason, the pursuit of it is not something you engage in with a feeble mind. It takes strong determination to pursue success and to achieve it. Not many who set out to pursue success ever succeed. Some fail in their pursuit, but a few succeed. It takes strong, rigid will to pursue and achieve success. It takes a purpose of heart and singleness of mind. So, you have to be strong and rigid and have rigid will to pursue your success. It takes a purpose of heart and singleness of mind. Okay? Success is never easy. Some succeed after many failures. What kept them on success track is their determination. When you resolve that, you will not accept any alternate, alternative to success, but success itself, then you are set to pursue it with the spirit of a winner. Okay? In the, in, the, in the pursuit of success, you cannot have anything less than success in mind. It's either you succeed or you don't ever bother to venture at all. Okay? So what am I trying to say? Okay? If you're not willing to, to succeed, don't try. Okay? Sometimes you may have to break in a barrier. Yeah. Sometimes you have to go through pain. Sometimes you have to give it all you got. But um, that's what it is. Okay. I'm not here. Okay. So I want you to, what, what am I trying to say here today? I need to run after success. If you want to be successful, you have to run after success. Okay? Don't mind, listen, don't mind the tidings. Don't kill the messenger, y'all. Yeah. Okay? Because I, I I don't care. I'm doing this for you. Okay? It's four, it's five or seven a.m. I need I could easily go to bed. But this is this is vital. 
excuse me, okay, money worth has to do with the pursuit of success, and the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of success, okay, all right, so, so there is a track with, within which you must run. If you don't want to get disqualified, the end and miss the reward. In the same way, there's a certain way to pursue success if you want to achieve it. Some of the things you must satisfy is it satisfy if you want to achieve success or given below. Number one, you need to know your purpose. I'm sorry. You need to know your purpose. Your purpose is your conviction, your direction, your will. Your, your must, your go-to. Why am I doing this? Why do I need to be successful? Only you can know. I can't know for you. Okay? Only you can know. If you want to pursue success, I'm telling you, yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Okay? And that's it. You want to pursue it, pursue it. But you have to be strong at will to get it done. Okay? And that's it. And that's how you pursue it. You got to have a purpose. Okay? Because God created you for a purpose. Okay? So you have to find out what is God's purpose for you? What is his tension for you? Okay? And that's something you must know. I'm not here to judge or anything. I need to realize before you die, what are you running for? What are you running to? Why are you running? Okay? It's not how busy you are that matters, but why you are busy. Okay? Bees are very busy insects, but they produce honey to show for it. Mosquito or another busy insect, men would rather kill mosquitoes than, than allow them to live. Okay? So, right? Because the mosquito, they here to bite you, take your blood, suck your blood. Bees, different story. They're going to make you honey, produce honey, and go high and have babies or whatever. Okay? So, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. All right? Don't kill the messenger. All right? Um, okay? I, we, we're going to continue. Okay? I'm going to take a minute break here because... I need to put some water in my eye, all right? So you could know I can give you good. So we went 20 minutes strong. We went 30 minutes hard. Okay, shout out to La Pe, all right? Shout out to La Pe de la Maison, all right? All right, from Ghana. Shout out. So I'm letting you know, all right? That's what it is. All right, build your confidence. Be in your manhood. We're La Pe, all right? Let me take a break. Okay, small five minutes break. So I'm back here, okay? As you can see, I have to put some water in my eye because, frankly, it's time for me to sleep. But I love you guys so much. I decided to make this video because it came in my mind, my heart. I said, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to get it done. Okay? Mm. All right. Also, men, women, I don't understand why they always talk about suicide trying to kill themselves. 
Listen, you have to know your purpose. If you know your purpose, such, such rubbish will not come to your mind, okay? So you need to know your purpose. And God created everyone for purpose. And you need to know that, okay? So stop talking this nonsense that you want to kill yourself. Life is so sweet and beautiful. Okay, wait for it to get there, okay? So, Moses had a purpose. He was created to bring out Israel from the land of bondage and bring them into the land of promise. His purpose was between two lands where the destiny of millions depended. Okay? Like Exodus 3 verse 10 says, Come now therefore I will send thee unto Pharaoh that thou may bring forth my people, the children Israel, Israel, out of Egypt. Let my people go. Okay? So, now David had a purpose. Okay? I'm letting you know all these great men what their purpose was and why they pursue happiness. I mean, they pursue success. Right? Because we are waiting the pursuit of success, right? By Dr. D. K. Olukoya from Africa. Alright? Shout out to Dr. D. <clears throat> Jesus had a purpose too. So David had a purpose. Okay. David had a purpose. David was raised a leader in Israel. He was going to he was going to be going out and coming in among God people as a leader. They could trust, depend upon, and whom they could understand the ways and judgment of God. He was to be a captain, to be the captain over Israel and feed them like his own sheep. 2 Simon 5 verse 1 to 3 says, Then came all the tribe of Israel to David and to Hebron, and spake, saying, Behold, we are the born in thy flesh also in time past, when so was, was king over us, though. Though was he that led us out and brought in Israel and brought, brought us in Israel. And the Lord said to thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be a captain of Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king to to King to the king to Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord and and, anointed, and they anointed David king over Israel. Understand that your purpose is gonna be your purpose. Well, I don't know what you what you think it is, but start, but you'll find out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jesus had a purpose. The Lord was born a Messiah, Redeemer, Savior, and Emmanuel. His name Jesus testified to the part of the purpose for which he was born. He came to save, he lived to save, he died to save, he is alive forever to save. So Matthew 1 verse 21, And he shall bring forth son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their, son, from their sins. You understand that? I mean, I'm not really tired, but this, is, this, this subject is, 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 I just want you, to, I just want to give you some examples of how people became great, but they did. Okay? Now, I'm going to, I'm going to inspire you. Okay. John the Baptist. Alright. The strange man was created for a strange purpose. Of all men born of women, he was the only direct help direct herald of King Jesus. He was born to announce the coming of the king. He lived for this purpose, and when Jesus the king arrived, the scene John did not fail to ex to fail to exclaim. Behold the Lamb of God. He never talked about himself for once. At best, he called himself the voice, still explaining his purpose as herald. So, John 1, 19-23 says, And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests Levi from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. They asked him, What then are how do Eli, Elias, Elias, Eli, Elias, Elia, Elias, Eli, Elias, Elias, he said, I'm not, 
or thou the prophet? And he answered, No. Then they said unto him, Who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What said thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as he, as said the prophet of Isaiah, Isaiah. So I vol, as verse 43 says, The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way to the Lord. Make straight the desert, the highway of for our God. I heard a voice calling. He's and that says, Prepare the way for the Lord. The straight way. Alright. So I was his purpose. To open the way for Jesus. Okay. So what am I saying? I'm saying don't kill the messenger. Maybe you like me, maybe you don't. But don't kill the messenger. Okay. Alright. Pardon me. But I put some more in my eye because I don't care. I said we're going to our long I'm a man of my word. We're going to our long. Okay. That's it. Uh -huh. That's the bottom line, okay? So, Paul. Paul was a great sinner that became a great apostle. From the day he met the Lord, he discovered the purpose for which he must live. Some people became born again Christians 15 to 20 years ago or more, yet they have not discovered the purpose for which they are born. Paul was not like that. He lived all his life in absolute pursuit of a purpose for which he was created. At death, he gladly announced his departure from this world, looking forward to the reward of a fulfilled life. He put his neck to the sword of those that beheaded him because he knew that part of the people was to die for his cause. So, you understand? We're going to finish this because I need you to understand. You need to pursue success. And to do that, you need to take example from great men that did it before you. Acts 9, 15 to 16. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy go thy way, for he is he is a chosen vessel unto me, to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings. And the children of Israel, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Okay. Position yourself in a way to fulfill God's purpose for your life. Okay. Alright, so um a study was done, and it behaves that the average man and woman use only 10% of their total investment of God in, his, in their life. The tragic truth is that that man must give account for the human 90% for the value that or not utilized. Okay? So, that's what I want you to understand. Okay? Okay, I need you to understand that. What's your purpose? Okay. What's your purpose? You know the goal. Okay. You know the goal. You need to know what's your purpose. You need a goal and you need to know what's your purpose. Okay. Um so we can't talk about the pursuit of success. Okay. Look. Um when I read a book, I have somewhere I want to go. Okay. Um Give me motivation, okay? 
right? No self-pity, no self-sympathy. Don't move by public opinions. And, um, and that's what you need, the purpose. I don't know what else to say. You need a purpose. You understand? You need motivation. Okay, forget the past. Let's get let's let's create some goals. Life is like a race targeted toward a specific finish line. If you don't have a goal you will ruin, you will run in vain. But I'm telling you guys, do not kill the messenger. This is serious here. Okay? This is very, very serious. Do not kill the messenger. Okay? Let go. What is goal? Life is like a great is like life is like a race targeted toward a specific finishing line. If you don't have a goal, you will run in vain. Okay? It's your goal that makes you strive harder, not the other way around. Okay? No. You need your goal. Okay? So that's the key. If your life is confused, you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you're doing, because somebody took your money and they couldn't do anything. Okay? So, I'm telling you that. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Okay? You need, to, you need, you need, you need a target. Okay? You need that. You know, I'm sorry if I burst the bubbles a little here. Okay? I apologize if I bust the bubbles. But you see, when, when I'm giving those kind of pointers... I don't think about what else. I only have today to give some pointers. That's it. I don't have I don't have too much. Okay. All right. I mean, you know I'm tired, right? You guys know I'm tired. You guys will forgive me. Okay. I need some sleep. But we're gonna get the job done regardless. I mean, it is what it is. Listen, guys, I don't know if you like the fact that I'm authentic. Like, I'm down to earth. Like, you can relate to me. All right? So, um, I don't, I mean, I'm done. Now, I want to, what kind of man would I be? If I talk all this great talk and um and and I couldn't not leave you with some for plan. You must have a definite plan and purpose. Your plan can spend a year or two or three or more. It can spread across days and months. That is why they are long and short range plans. If you don't have a plan, you will accept anything that comes your way. A life without a plan is like a car without an engine. Pursue your plan. Knowledge is only relevant when it applies. You won't know how to swim until you get into the waters. A fledging of, of a bird will grow useless wings if they don't attempt to fly. What is your plan? You can plan for your marriage, career, calling, profession, etc. If without a plan, you will fail woefully in life. Though your plan, you will you will know the following. What exactly you want? Through your plan, you will know the following. What exactly you want? What it takes to achieve it? How best to execute your plan? When to see the plan executed? 
what you stand to gain from it. The like the likely problems that can arise, what pitfall pitfalls to avoid. Okay. Um so the woman with the issue of blood had a plan to be healed. She purposed it. Daniel and his three friends pursued theirs. Caleb and Joshua pursued theirs. Pursue, pursue your plan. Success does not run after anybody. You must pursue it. Interesting. Prayer points. Every negative power stagnating my life die in the name of Jesus. Second destiny, go, my original destiny, come in, in the name of Jesus. Okay. If I have missed my road, oh God, arise, correct my correct me by fire, in the name of Jesus. Every power rejoicing over my problems, die in the name of Jesus. Thou, thou power of meaningless life, die in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we cannot have meaningless life, y'all. Yeah. If you're okay. Every power of the enemy in my life release my destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, I'm going to stop there. Okay. So, you can know how to add the pursuit of success by Dr. D.K. Olokuya. Okay, and so that's the key here. I mean, it's very interesting because you have to know these things. Okay, all right, you have to know these things if you're gonna pursue happiness again. It is. No, November 20th, 2023. Monday, November 20th, 2023. It's 5.29 a.m. Shout out to our Money Worth channel, Money Worth 10. Okay. And um, and I need you guys to understand that. Yeah. Um, it's, just, it's, it's inspiration. Okay. I didn't just come out of nowhere and create it. Okay. No, I'm letting you know. Right? And that's the key. So, to pursue your happiness, you need to know what's your purpose. Sit down and figure your purpose out. We all have a purpose, we have a, have a calling. And you need, you need yours as well. Okay? And it's very important. So, that's the key. So, I hope that the little excerpt I had on the money and the pursuit of success kind of get you to start thinking. Because let me tell you something, okay? It's not easy to pursue success. It's not easy to pursue happiness. It's not easy to pursue anything. But you have to do it. What are you going to do? Live and not try? So... That's something I need you to understand. Um, yeah, no, I mean, that's the key. Okay. So, for the next seven, eight minutes, we're going to be talking about a whole lot of different things, okay? 
So bear with me. Okay, bear with me. Okay. Let me tell you about this book, Milk of Money. So, okay. This, book, this powerful book was developed, written, and published by Brother John Avenzi and Harold Herring, co founders of the Dead Free Arm. I read Medical Money in June. I read Miracle Money in June. Got a new job that paid $2 more than an hour in Malaysia. I got a new 20000 technology car for fourteen eighty-five. The weekend after getting my new car, I got seven fifty for my child support office collected for my ex-husband. That's Rwanda from Missouri. I got you, Rwanda. All right. So... Look, I I only want to talk about one thing here. Manifestation of a hundredfold. Okay. I always I always call this exponential growth. Because you can take a dollar, you think it's gonna be two dollars. No, it's a ten dollars, and then the ten dollar become a hundred, a hundred become a thousand, a thousand become ten thousand. You understand how this works? Yeah. So. Manifestation of the hundredfold. Okay. So, as I bought my, okay, as I bought my message to a close, the high priestess of God filled, filled the room. Then I badly said, God has instructed me to take a special offering this morning. I told them who would be allowed, who would, I told them who would be allowed to give in this this in this offering i would i would be only it would be only those who gave me the exact amount god told them to give not only that but they would have to give me with full expectation of receiving the offering multiple back to them once the back to them where are you full sorry 100 fold when i was sure everybody understood these two requirements I told the people they would have there would be a miraculous manifestation of the hundredfold increase to all those who obediently joined their faith with mine. Once again, I clearly explained to them that their miracle would only happen for those who give in straight 
obedience and faith. Okay. Now, overflow and offering plate. All right. So, what what am I saying here? So the engine in my sister car was running very weak. I wanted to buy her new car. I I thought the new car would cost about fifteen thousand, so I gave her hundred fifty dollars into the hundred full offering. Two weeks later, my mom and dad transferred seventeen thousand to our checking account as a gift, so we could buy the car. It's a new Saturn uh, station wagon. The price with tax was just over seventeen. Nancy has a new car and no payment. So, what are we saying here? Is the manifestation of a hundredfold, you got to have faith, okay? You got to have faith and give what is required of you. Because if you don't have faith, you cannot get this manifestation. It's a hundredfold. I call it explanation growth, okay? Faith. Something good is going to happen, all right? So, I mean, I want to thank all of you for staying with me. I know I'm tired today, but I had to. Don't kill the message. I had to give the message. <coughs> I'm not John the Baptist. If you ask me for a message, I have to give it, okay? And then, um, and that was the key. Right? That was the key here. Okay, that was the key. And, um, and I wanted to pass this message down, okay? And um, and I I thought it was it was wonderful. So remember to like, subscribe to the channel, Money Worth Money Worth Ten. We love you. We until next time. Thank you. And um, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna make great, you know, the topics and stuff, and we're gonna make it happen. All right. Thank you. Okay.
is the adventure. Okay. It's another one time. We have an adventure. That's how the knife feels like. You need to understand this this is gonna be your two best things. Okay. You need some laugh in your life. If you want, if you want your strength, you need lape, you need pollen screen.
hope you guys are meditating. All right. You need you need strength. You need lap. All right. One hour. Okay. Eleven minutes into this. Okay. I'm gonna let you meditate some more and be back.
All right, y'all. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate the time meditating with us on the Money Worth channel. Until next time.